Palm Dog, and today I have King, and we're going to be working on the heel position. Now, the heel position is really important for the CQC, just because uh, one of the requirements is that a dog is able to sit and down in the heel position. So to start, I'm just going to take my two, my two feet, I'm going to put one back, put the treat on King's nose, make a big circle, and as I'm coming up, my leg follows him up so that our feet are parallel. So just show what that looks like. I'm going to put one foot back. King! So we're going to make a big circle with King. Once he reaches his back leg, bring him up. Yes! The second he's parallel, yes, give him a treat. So I'm going to do that again. King, heel! Yes! I'm not a fan of that distance, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring him a little bit closer. Yes! And you have to play around with sometimes the distance. You can see with Cookie, it was much easier to get her closer to me, whereas King is leaving a little more distance than I would like. So I just adjust the circle as needed. As long as they end up on your left, you're doing it correctly. King, heel! because a lot of these dogs with long backs need that extra room to make a full turn around. So we're putting our leg back to give them that space to make a full turn to meet us. Okay. Yes. That was really good. You can already see King is starting to bring himself a little closer to me. You can see he's already expecting heel what I'm asking him to do, which is really good. Yes. I'm gonna do it one more time. King okay, heel. Yes. And that was really good for King. Of course, this is just the beginning. The goal is that we'll be able to give it a verbal, and of course, we'll be able to do the sitting down material with it. But that was really good from King today. I like the focus that he was giving me and how fast he was able to understand what I was asking him. Good job. Oh boy. I know. I gotta go take a picture. I know.